Good evening and welcome to Geelong Newsbeat. Here we are on the foreshores of the wonderful Corio Bay that surrounds our beautiful city of Greater Geelong, a grand amphitheatre of wonderful seawater and yes, the seafront is just magnificent today. We've got a special program starting off today with a major national initiative award that's been given to Waterways as part of the city of Greater Geelong and we'll be covering that today. But also, don't forget, I want to put this one in the diary, Friday the 10th of the 10th, yes, this coming Friday, it is going to be at 7am, good morning Geelong, here on Channel 31, and I guarantee you, you are going to enjoy the show. So stay with us, as first of all, we go to this week's edition of Geelong Newsbeat. Geelong Newsbeat welcomes you to the city of Greater Geelong. And recently at an awards presentation in Sydney, the city received a national award for achievement in sustainability for its Geelong Healthy Waterways Program, a national award. That's right, we're the best in Australia here in our city of greater goodness. And joining me is uh, the uh, man who holds apart one of his portfolios, Environment, Councillor Tom O'Connor. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Graham, sensational. Sensational. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, yeah, the bike traffic's coming through. We're down here at Rippleside Beach. Um, the Geelong Waterways, it's, it's something, a very, very strong feather in our cap again. Oh, it is. Look, from a national point of view, Rollo, and also from a local point of view, you know, these, these two awards, even though they're small, they have a great energy behind them. This is, we've been working on this for four years. We've, nationally, we've got communities, we've got councils, we've got organisations taking a leaf out of our book. And you, you look at this sign behind us here, this is just like the end result of it. This is just a pictorial of where we're really going with the waterways. It's about, I suppose, community education. That's, that's the best way to put it, educating the community not to wait until it finishes up there in the bay. You know, what are we going to do about not putting it in the waterways, not putting, like, cigarette butts, for example, you know? Why do people smoke and put it on the footpath? You know where it finishes? In the bay. That's a challenge. This is an award for our education program and the success of it. You know, we've done something like, what is it, a 1,000 audits of, of companies. We've done 28,000 households. We've, um, I can't remember the rest. What else have we done, Roller? Give us, give us a look at right this. Through, right throughout the community. But the important point, Tom, is one view us that is made on this sign where it says, remember, the stormwater drain is there f only for rain. If you rubbish the streets, you rubbish your beach. And that is a real theme that we're building on here in Geelong because Corio Bay is just one of the most wonderful amphitheatres in Australia. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, we swim. We swim from Point Henry to Eastern Beach as a testament to the quality of the water in the bay. And there's not too many inland bays like ours where you can do that. You know, you, would you go to Alcatraz and swim like they do? No, no, no you wouldn't. Would you, go to, um, would you go to Sydney? No, you wouldn't. It's dirty. Would you go to... There's very few inland waterways, I mean contained waterways, where you can do this. This is... The other part of it, though, Rollo, is this is not a cyst in the bay. And, and we're... To break the mindset, not just of the community, but also of business. You know, business has been sensational. You know, people like Shell Alcoa, the Harbour Trust, the um, Toll, they've been great in helping us drive this whole program that the bay is not a cistern you know you don't chuck rubbish and all of a sudden it flushes away it doesn't do that the bay doesn't flush as well as we would like it but that's not the repository for rubbish we've got to you know that mentality and i think we've done a great job you know i shouldn't i should speak positively rather than negatively you know we've done a great job collectively as a community uh and but what has helped us also establish uh, a lot of the standards that uh, have led to this uh, award is uh, a terrific structure within the offices of the City of Greater Geelong. I think they've, these guys have really, you know, the, I can't speak highly enough of them. You know, they took on this cause, not just this, but the whole environmental cause. They've taken it on, what, nearly eight years ago when the environment wasn't uh, in the forefront of our thinking there. The carbon economy, like these guys with the greenhouse strategy, that they've developed. These guys are leaders and, you know, they've struggled and battled and, you know, pretty much kept the faith and now we are people, organisations, shires are coming to them, taking a lead out of what they're doing. 
and it's not just you know you can't sort of preach the gospel yourself without getting the community on side and this is one of the real strengths is getting the community on side whether it be coastal management whether it be foreshore management or whether it be schools you know the work that's been done at the schools and in conjunction with Barwon Regional Waste Management Group they've done a they've done a cracker of a job Enzo Bruchello and his crew you know for example uh, can I keep talking keep going Uncle Tom we've got a, a 50 million dollar waste program it's a waste facility as part of our towards zero waste 50 million dollar facility going in just out there at Point Henry next to Winchester and it's going to take 75,000 tonnes of domestic waste you know the green waste and your household waste 75,000 ton turn it into somewhere between 50 and 55,000 ton of high quality fertilizer not mulch but high quality fertilizer which means it's a replacement for the chemical fertilizers and as we know chemical fertilizers and our blue green algae you know there's a real what do we call it cause and effect there yes this is natural now where does that leave us that means that we don't have to put it into the into the um, Drysdale waste facility, the old tip there. We don't have to put it there and have it generate methane. This facility is generating its own methane, and in fact, it's a what, what, what do we call it? A, um, a, a complete cycle, energy cycle. Mm. It's generating its own methane from which we're extracting power that's running the whole plant itself. So once we kick start it, away we go, mate. Now we've established ourselves with this national award and we'll keep emphasising that viewers, something we're very proud of. The benchmark has been set. I suppose the big challenge now is to keep that benchmark up there. I think it's yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Heightened awareness, heightened awareness and commitment. And one of the best, one of the best ways to do it is through the kids. Just for example, like the kids are just rode through. They're the ones that bring the message home to mum and dad. Um, the schools, yeah, you know, primary schools, secondary schools, everywhere. They've done a cracker job in conjunction with Barwon Regional Waste Management Group. You know, people like Bruce Humphreys, Bernie Cotter, Matty Jackman, uh, you know, all those guys. They've, they've done a super job, mate. Super job. Super job, super result. Yes, a national award which has been given to another of Geelong's healthy waterways programs. We're very healthy about our water down here in Geelong. Congratulations to all involved at the City of Greater Geelong on the awards, Tom. I'm sure you're very proud as a portfolio holder. Absolutely, absolutely. And thanks, Rolla, thanks for the opportunity to get this in front of the public. You know, it, awards are important. You know, you can do it, but to get the recognition, absolutely vital. And we're very proud of being able to promote the positives of happening in Geelong, around Geelong Newsbeat. Always remember that ethos. Geelong Newsbeat is for Geelong people, about Geelong people and by Geelong people. We'll go to a break on Geelong Newsbeat and be back with a world of horse racing because coming up, not too far away, it's a Geelong Racing Cup for season 2008. Back shortly. <laughs> 